Equatio is a Chrome extension that can make it easy to add math equations and activities to a Jamboard. If you don't already have the Equatio extension, go to the Chrome Web Store and add it. Once installed, launch Equatio from your Jamboard. The Equatio tools will populate along the bottom of your screen. You can type an equation with the Equation Editor. Simply click this Copy Math button here when you're done. And then paste it on your Jamboard frame using Control plus V. There is also a handwriting recognition tool that you can use to create your equations. I think this works much better on a touch screen than with a mouse, which is what I am using. But you can write on one side and type on the other, whatever makes it easier. Again, when you're done, you just click the Copy Math button here and paste it onto your Jamboard frame. All items will paste in as images and you can move them around and resize them on your frame. There is even speech input and mobile options, neither of which I have tried, but are available. And if you need even more options than this quick toolbar offers, try the Equatio Math Space. This interface seems to have a lot more tools and the ability to customize things. It has shapes and smart shapes. You can change your page background. And the math space seems to offer a lot of flexibility and items to use when creating your tasks. The share icon up here will give you a link to share a copy of this math space with students for them to solve. But if you just want to get this into Jamboard, then click the Equatio button in the lower left and download as a PNG file. Then you just insert that image onto your Jamboard frame. And all of the items that I have inserted from MathSpace come in with really high resolution, which is nice because there seems to be a lot less pixelation. Any pen tool drawings that you put on your frame will not affect any of your image files that you created with Equatio. So you can easily erase, but that can get pretty tedious between classes. And you can see that if I choose clear frame, it wipes out all of my images too. So if you want to reset your frames quickly between classes or want to protect the problems from being accidentally deleted, you can just set up one frame the way you want it, then use the three dots in the top right to save this frame as an image file. This seems to ensure that your image is going to be the perfect size and dimensions for a Jamboard background. So to get this as my background, I'm going to delete the picture files that are currently on the frame. Then I'm going to choose that background and upload that same image file that I just saved. Now you or students can work the problem and clear the frame without losing any of the equations. If I need to duplicate this page to use with collaborative groups, just click this slide sorter and choose duplicate as many times as needed. If you want to save the work on a Jamboard file to share later as notes, simply click the three dots. This time choose save as PDF. Saving as an image will save just one frame only, but if you choose the PDF option, it will save all of your frames in the Jamboard as one PDF file that you can then post in your online classroom to share with students. There are lots of other ways to add math problems to a Jamboard, including just taking a screenshot of an existing handout or problem that you have already, but Equatio can be a great extension that you can add to your toolbox of math authoring tools.